This channel and its videos are intended for general audience. Hello everybody, it's Trap Master 2016 back again and today we got a new video, theoretically. Um, basically what I did was I hopped on to Amazon and I ordered some 24,000 RPM motors. Now, you're probably thinking, well let's see who which one's faster. And we're going to put them to a couple of tests today. First we're going to have a race between Gordon which is fitted with a Power Dash motor and James which is fitted with a Amazon 24,000 RPM motor. I don't know the brand name of them, I wish I did, but I'm going to call them Amazon 24,000 RPM motor. So we're going to have a one lap race from this station here where they cross the finish line will be the signals so whoever crosses that first will be the winner and yeah so let's give it a test all right here we go ready three two one there they go gordon is off to a start Gordon is yards ahead. I'm going to take the tripod, the camera off the tripod. James is a bit slow. And Gordon is just gone. Look at that. But then again, James is a bit slow when I got him, so I may have to work him out a bit. So Gordon is the winner on this round. Now I have fit Duck with a 24,000 RPM motor. And when Gordon comes around, I'm going to start him off as well. So Gordon is still faster. For some odd reason with the 24,000 RPM motor, Duck kind of has a bit of trouble hauling a train. As you can see on the straightaway, he goes a bit faster, but when he gets to the curves, he will automatically slow down. Now, I haven't seen that with James, so yeah, this is going to get me pondering. So yeah, so Duck is kind of a letdown, but James was slow. I'm going to give James a break because he was slow on his review. Um, so yeah, I, I, so I really, I really don't know. I honestly don't know. There's no pulling power trouble with James, but Duck has, when I swapped his motor, he does have a bit of pulling power problems. So, yeah, that is kind of making me wonder something. I um, don't know if I should do it or not. But I'm thinking about swapping the motors inside Duck and Gordon, giving Gordon the 24,000 RPM to see if that is faster on him or and uh, give the power dash to Duck since those really don't have any pulling problems. Because I want Duck to be faster, that way when he pulls the slip coaches, the coaches can coast into the station rather than, um, you know, them stopping right at the magnet. So, And that way I'll have to put the Mr. Motorman unit in him every time I want to run him. So that way he'll be automatically fast no matter what. Yeah, it's unrealistic, but I have to do something to have him running better than he is so mm, kind of makes me question kind of gives me kind of gives me questions so I'm gonna go s try to swap those motors um, and on Gordon I may just swap it on Gordon because I have many more um, I may just swap one on Gordon to see if it does work then if it does work I'll just uh, take ducks out and put it into a new engine because I'm going to update some of my tinder engines with a bit more faster motors But I, I I just don't know about the pulling power on these motors. That's that's the reason I like power dash That's the reason why power dash is so good because No matter what I mean you could see Gordon he, he pulls four coaches and they he flies along the line Duck has a trouble with two and those are very cheap motor, so you kind of get what you pay for, basically. You kind of get what you pay for. I paid ten ninety nine for a pack of motors, so for about ten motors, so that's about a dollar each. For one power dash motor, it's about twelve ninety nine. 
Um, so again, you are getting what you pay for. You know, you spend more money, you get more quality product. So yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go work on Gordon real fast, and I'll be back. All right. So I swapped Gordon's motor with a 24,000 RPM motor. Bit sprite layer. And no catching on the curves like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna couple up his other coaches and see if he can still pull. I mean, it does seem a bit faster. And the coaches ain't giving them struggles on the curves. Like with ducks, so I mean, I mean, it could be just the motor, maybe it's a dud motor, um, but it seems about the same speed as the power dash, or a bit faster actually. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think the coach is over there on, and it bit a bit there. He's not slowing down at all, so... See, he seems a bit faster. But again, this really still hasn't completed my, you know, still having a bit of a quandro, a quandro, whatever it's called. You know, it's, the hypothesis still at work, you know. You can see him struggling a bit there. You know, I, I, I just really, really don't know. It seems like he's slowing down now. I, I just don't know. I don't know. If I had like two Gordons and I race them side by side, yeah, I'd have a definitive deal, but all these engines are different, you know. So, yeah, I, I really don't know. Yeah, I'm just racing James and Gordon side by side. And it seems, if you have a load on these, they're a bit, um, you know, slower because you can see James with nothing on him except his tender. He's ahead of the game, so mm, kind of makes me weary about these motors. Very, very weary. Not saying they're bad motors, but I'm just saying maybe the performance in them is a bit bad. I really, really can't tell. Um, so I'm just going to run Gordon a bit. Of, yeah, you can see. James is there, Gordon is there, so, yeah, mm. still kind of puzzled. Alright, so James has a good train. James has a good train and Gordon has his Express and they're both on 24,000 RPM motors so they're both on that so there's no switching with power dash or anything Gordon has the 24,000 James has the 24,000 the trains are about the same length so we're going to give them another test we're going to have a little race to see who can pull a train and who is the fastest so here we go, 3, 2, 1 So Gordon has taken a lead. James is a bit far behind now. He still has a bit of a speed. Alright, he's still going. He's still going. James has kind of slowed down now. Gordon is far ahead. So, yeah. Mm. I mean, James hasn't slowed down like Duck has, because 
I mean, in that last deal with Duck, he slowed down on the curves a lot. Uh, I don't know really why, but uh, yeah. Mm. Just doing some tests. So Gordon is still rocking along. I mean, he, his speed really hadn't changed that much. He hadn't really slowed down yet. Now from seeing James go along with him, I mean, Gordon's probably at the same speed but with powered up and um, with 24,000 RPM. I mean, they're still are fast, but yeah, it, it's it's weird. It's just questionable, very, very questionable. Maybe leery. But then again, for some odd reason, James was always slow. I mean, even without his 24,000 RPM motor, he's still... He's a bit faster than he was now, he was before, but he still he was a slow runner, so that's that. So, yep. So we're going to do a little bit of a strength test. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand, my finger, on the traction tyre. And when it stops, that's to determine the strength. Alright, so here's Caitlin filled with a power dash motor. So here we go. Here's Caitlin power dash motor strength test. I mean, I'm pushing very, very hard and it's still going. I mean, look at that. Alright. Now here's Gordon with a 24,000 RPM motor, one finger, barely pushing on it at all. Alright, we're going to go back to Power Dash. Alright, see that? Yeah, what I call them Power Dashes. So, yeah, my suggestion, just just a suggestion. You don't have to. I would stay away from these twenty four thousand RPM motors. Power dashes, they're a bit faster, and they have power, and you won't, you know, burn out the motor. Yeah, you get a lot in bulk for cheap, but if you want quality. Get a power dash motor if you want quality. If you want a train, you know, it pulling a train very fast around the layout, get a power dash. Don't get 24,000 RPM because I'm not a fan of them. I'm not. Just found out today I'm not a fan of them. I don't like them because they slow down your trains. I mean, just by that alone, just by doing that simple little test of putting a finger on the wheels. You can see which one is better. You can see which one has actual power. So the power dashes have more power because, you know, uh, something inside them. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you can plainly see which ones work and which ones don't. So, yeah, so this video is kind of a jumbled up video. Um, just kind of a disappointment. Kind of very, just a little bit disappointed that... You know, yeah, but you know, you're living your alone. 
I mean, I, I probably will use these motors for something else. I got, uh, you know, ten of them. So, because three of them is in an engine here. So, yeah. Um, so, tell me down in the comment section what you guys think. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Again, you know, you can go buy whatever motors you want. I would stick with Power Dash because they are known quality motors. I've had them for about in my trains for about a year now and I love Power Dash motors. They have more quality. They're an actual branded item. Not saying the Amazon ones are bad. They're just a bit lacking on the strength side. You know, yeah, they are faster. Yeah, you know, you get a whole bunch in bulk for cheap. But is it really worth it if you can't even pull four coaches around your layout without slowing down? So, you know... Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell down by the subscribe button to be notified of all new videos. Bye bye.